Hello, Gorebricks back here with another LEGO review. This episode, I'm reviewing the LEGO pickup truck. This is set number 10290, and it's got 1,677 pieces. It's an 18 plus set, and I don't know about this set. I mean, so, story about this, if you've been keeping up to date, which I assume you have, because it's pretty much everyone I know has, uh, is subscribe to me and knows the situation but um i ordered this i ordered the mario block set and three minifigures the lego marvel ones and they sent me a lot more minifigures and uh the pickup truck which i had seen and i thought it looked cool i would have never bought it um but i'm glad i have it i got it for free so i'm glad i got it but it looks cool i, I can't wait to see uh the box i really like the 18 plus box i like the black they look good. This actually looks really cool. Um, so I'm glad I got it. Well, I'm glad I have it. Uh, I definitely don't, still don't think I would have bought it, but it's cool to get. Um, yeah, not not really sure what to expect. I'm not even sure how big it is. It looks kind of big. Got a one on one scale of the wheels there, so that's a bit of um, a bit of a clue. And um, just an update on the minifigures because I did make a video, but I didn't get all of them, so I'm not gonna make a video yet until I get all of the figures. I got uh, nine. I need three more. I need uh, Bucky, Winter Soldier, um, and the Zombie Captain America and um, Sam Wilson Captain America. So, but the ones I got are pretty cool. But forget about that. This is the main focus of the video. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get right into this. I'm excited. All right. Just before I do, I thought I'd show the back of the box. Uh, yeah, it does actually look pretty big. And I do like that they've got different decorations for each season. I think that's quite cool. I really like it. Good old classic farm pickup truck. Looks very, very nice. So here we have the completed truck. And I love it. Honestly, I love it. I didn't get it. I didn't pay for it. So... I'm probably a bit biased because I didn't have to spend my own money, but I think it's great. I really enjoy it. It's quite big, as you can see. I don't know. My hands aren't that big, but you get a size there. Um, so what I'll do, I'll show off the truck first, and then I'll show off the accessories. So we'll start from the back. We got here. We got it's uh, the number plate, and this this is actually uh, a printed Lego uh, logo sticker. It's pretty cool. Uh, I like how this goes flat like that, and then we have the truck bed, uh, or the ute bed, the flat truck, I'm not sure of the terminology, something like that. These can actually come out, uh, and it's just, <laughs> looks like that, but I like having them in like that. Actually, uh, oops, probably should turn it the right way. Uh, I like it like that. We go to the front uh, of the the cabin. I know that's a that's a term with trucks. Doors open like that. Uh, inside of the doors, we have got the handle there. Pretty cool. Uh, the handle on the front. We got the the mirrors here, as you can see in there. Got the uh, the old gear stick. Uh, we can actually take this roof off. I think. Yep. This all comes off in one piece here. Uh, we got the rear view mirror, beautiful little sunset in the back, and then we can look in here a bit better. The steering wheel actually does change. If we can have a look at the wheels at the front there, it actually moves them, which is pretty cool. Um, we've also got there the uh, accelerator and the uh, brake. You can't really see it, but it's those, you can see it there, those things there. Um, I'm not sure what this is here, but that looks kind of important. Maybe like a cup holder. Oh no, that's just the door axis, and the, both the doors open the same. And we got the dash up here, which is cool with the speed and all that. So I'll pop this back on, and then we'll go to the front, right in front of the truck. Close that. Oh, and I forgot to see it says Green Farm here. Pretty cool. So we go to the front. We got a massive grill here. Another license plate. Um, you can put the Christmas wreath on there, which is kind of cool. This is my favorite feature. So this opens up, and then we got this here. That goes there. Leave it open so you can work on that bad boy. Look at that engine. V8, baby. 
big truck. Uh, it's pretty cool. We got that V8 there. You know what it is. Um, I'm not sure the terms of the inside of the engine, but I'm sure you guys might know. So is it accurate? I don't know. But I think it looks really good, really detailed. And I love that this is here. So you can have that. And that just folds in closes like that. So yeah, this is a tour of the truck. Very nice. Now I'll move on to the accessories that it comes with. Oh, let's move the mirror back. Uh, there, there we go. So here we have all the accessories that come with it. And all the accessories are pretty cool. We got the wheelbarrow here, flowers. So maybe he's a, he's a flower farmer. He delivers flowers on the farm. He or she, they deliver flowers on the farm. Carrot farmer, pumpkin farmer. We got dairy and we got apples here. And then look, we got a nice little sign. It says fresh from the farm and today's pick so that could be the front of the store wherever the truck is waiting and here's the wreath like i said oh and i thought i mentioned this is a little present that on the uh the book the uh instructions it has that on the seat there so maybe the person's delivering a gift or something uh and most of these fit in the back of the truck as well uh not all of them but you can fit a, a fair few of them together you can fit all of that in there, have that in there, so that sits in there like that. And we could probably even fit in the pumpkins, have the sign in there too, like that. The wheelbarrow uh, will fit in there, wheelbarrow will fit in there uh, by itself, not really with anything else. The present can fit in there too. So we've got a full, full uh, bed here, full of stuff, and uh, yeah, so there we go. That's completes the truck. It's a nice little uh, build. Probably, I wouldn't have bought it myself, but I do really like it now that I have it. Um, I think it's a great build, great little truck. Um, it's a bit big to put if you had a Lego City, it's not because it's not minifigure scale, but it's a cool display piece, I guess, if you like trucks, maybe. Uh, if you're a farmer, it'd be cool for farmers to have. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's, it's a great build, I think. Just a great, nice, big truck build. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review as much as I enjoyed this set. Uh, let me know if you're liking the videos or not. I know I've had a bit of a break, uh, but I'm back, hopefully. Uh, I've got one more set I've got to build for the year, so maybe no more videos until next year after the Home Alone set I build, however long that takes me. But, yeah. Alright, see you guys next time. Gore Bricks out.